Hello Steemits, hello Steemits, Crypto G here coming at you with another video tutorial. Um, if you remember in the last one we basically created a nice little Polaroid collage. We used the tool Vector, the free online uh, vector graphics tool and we created a little collage today i just want to show you how to kind of essentially enhance that effect and make the photos look more like polaroids um, a couple of these don't look too bad but um, i want to try and improve a couple so i want to take this shot here and basically turn it uh, into this put a bunch of um, effects and filters on it and we're going to sort of make it look like this which i think looks uh, a bit more polaroidy a bit more sort of like those classic old polaroids okay first of all we go into let's make sure that's selected okay now we're going to go to um adjustment and we're going to come down oh no actually sorry before we do that we're going to go to filter and we're going to come down to pastels there we go and we're just going to not go too mad on that um, what this does is it just kind of smooths out the colors a little bit uh, makes them a little less sharp um, and uh, oh there we go that wasn't changing I wanted that on to two okay and then we're actually going to go inverse on that and just change that around and we're just sort of mushing up the colors a little bit and softening that up um, next uh, what are we going to do we're going to basically go to um, the brightness and contrast so we'll just go to adjustments brightness and contrast and we're going to whack the contrast up because we see a lot of those polaroids are quite contrasty okay that's about right uh, maybe we'll take up the brightness just by a point or two. There we go. Okie dokie. Right, let's just remind myself what to do next. After brightness and contrast, uh, I'm going to go to exposure, which is just here, down here in the adjustment menu. Uh, take that down. To about sort of 1415. Okie dokie. Um, then we're going to go uh, look at the color balance. Now, with a lot of old Polaroids, here we go, color balance. Uh, we see they're quite, they can be, tend to be quite yellowy. So, we're going to take out some of the blue, uh, take out a touch of the green as well. Add a bit more red, not too much, sort of about, yeah, about sort of there. I'm going to take about a touch more blue, I'll probably take out a touch more green, something like that. Okay, now we're starting to look, make it a look a lot older than it was. Um, once we've done that, we're going to go over to and add a vignette. And a vignette um, is just on the filters. Add a vignette, and we're just going to take that right down to the sides. Right down to the sides, and we're going to change the colour. I'm uh, going to come over here to yellow and yeah, around about there. 
Yeah, that's about right, I'd say. Maybe make that a touch smaller. So it's just round the edges, like an old sort of yellowing photograph. Um, let's see. Might change this actually slightly. Um, so yeah, let's put some noise on the picture now because it's a little bit too sharp. So we go filter, go noise, and we don't want too much. We're going to take that right down to the sort of low to kind of mid 20s. Yeah, that's about right. 21. Maybe a touch more. Let's go 22, 23. Let's go 23. Oops. On 233. 23 is what I meant to do. There we go. That's about right. Okay, let's see. And then we're going to go to scan lines, which is down in the filters. And we're going to turn that right down. So kind of single digits. Again, we're just giving the picture this kind of grainy old photograph, old kind of Polaroid look. Of course, you can get modern Polaroids, which um, kind of a little bit more digital, but we're going for that old sort of 70s, 80s look. Okay. Uh, what else do we want to do here? Ah, yes. Let's look at the exposure again, but this time we're going to do it via curves. So we're going to go adjustments, curves. I wouldn't mind just bringing those blacks down a bit, just crashing down there, taking the highlights up a little bit. Mids. Very slightly, just gives us a little bit more contrast. Um, and then finally, uh, yeah, finally, I'm going to put two types of blur on this. I'm just going to, first of all, I'm just going to put blur, which just gives us a slight blur. Then I'm going to go Gaussian blur. And I'm going to bring that down again, just a little touch. Let's go 18. Okay. I'm just going to go back there. Did. Okay, and I've sort of gone a bit different. I've on the color offsets, I've made this one kind of a bit more yellow, a bit brighter. Kind of like it a bit more like that. I'm going to change here. Yeah, I'm going to do the color offset again. Um, color balance. And I'm going to take out a tiny bit more blue. Tiny bit more. Oh. Not too much. Actually, I'm going to pump that green up slightly. I, think I took out a bit too much at first. Okay. Okay, and um, there we go. And then you can basically play around with with that. Um, you know, we've got them kind of quite similar. I did it a little bit different there. I think I went um, a bit crazier on the pastels there, actually. I think I, I prefer that, where it's a bit more subtle. Um, and then, yeah, and then I basically just resized the image. Um, so that basically I then want all of my images to be exactly the same um, when I take them into my... Polaroid collage. So, um, yeah, we just kind of come to uh, Oh, sorry about that guys. I've actually forgotten where resize is. If 
very rarely use it in here. It should be an image, actually image size. Obviously it's not called resize in that. And then basically making that a thousand pixels. Okay, so this has gone on long enough now, I think. I think you've got the idea. Um, I'm gonna mess around with my other images. I'll end up putting those in uh, into, into here. I think they're going to look a lot better and then next time we come back I'm going to do a vector one on how to sort of create you know make these look a little bit more like actual Polaroids lying on top of each other okay but until then I hope you've enjoyed this um, if you'd like to know about any other tutorials then please let me know below okay thanks Demit and thank you YouTube bye bye